Hey everybody, Vapologist here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at cleaning the Magic Flight launch box. There really isn't too much going on here other than cleaning the glass tube and then the screen that's inside the box, but that can be pretty tricky unless you're careful. So let's take a look. Cleaning the glass tube is pretty easy. Just wet a pipe cleaner with some isopropyl alcohol, clean it out the inside, and then rinse it with water when you're done. The screen inside the box is the other trouble area. Sadly, it's not removable, and it's a bit fragile, so be very careful when you clean it. Since the Magic Flight works via conduction by heating the metal screen that the herb sits on, the screen takes on a lot of debris. Mine isn't really that dirty, and much of the patina is not going to come off anyway, but we're trying to clear debris from clogging the screen up. You can try to brush this off with the brush that came with the Magic Flight, but it's only moderately successful. I found the best way to get the screen clean is to actually put a battery in with no herb in the chamber, then turn the unit on and let the screen heat up as much as it can. This should dry out and carbonize most of what's stuck to it. Then a gentle tap on a solid surface, followed by a quick brushing, should do the trick. I've seen screens that are straight up black, but are cleaned regularly so they still function fine and don't even taste bad. If you need to, you can give the plastic lid a quick wipe with a Q-tip or a cloth that's got a tiny bit of alcohol on it, but really that's it. There's only so much you can do to keep your Magic Flight running great, but it's still a vital maintenance that needs to occur pretty frequently. The more you use your Magic Flight, the more you're going to need to clean it. But with regular maintenance, it'll run for a long time, proving what a worthy little vape this thing really is. If you want more information on the little vaporizer that could, head on over to vaporizersreview.com for more.